batteries didn't last long, did it? <laughs> With um, transparent pages, so she's used um, uh, blah, 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 deli paper to create a journal, and that really inspired me. So I have this wallpaper that was made into an envelope and sent to me in Happy Mail, and it was stitched together and I really liked it and I wanted to save it for well I was hoping to make a journal out of it uh, but I wasn't sure what kind of journal, what size and then I kind of found that I was leaning towards the 8x8 size, so I decided to make an 8x8 journal using the wallpaper envelope as a cover. Um, and this is the closest I can get to deli paper in the UK, it's from eBay, and it is wax paper. The artist explains that she coated both sides of her paper with matte medium to sort of strengthen the pages and prep them. Now for prep I usually use gesso so I did experiment with clear gesso but it is actually a lot thicker than the matte medium and it leaves a lot more texture and it makes the page a little less transparent and obviously the idea of the journal is that it's transparent so <laughs> basically I cut some large sheets of the wax paper into 8 by 16 and then I actually used a, a card blank, an 8 by 8 card blank as a template to make it easier on myself Oops. and then I basically I've stitched it into the journal cover which I made and I've just stitched because obviously this was a larger envelope I've cut it to size and stitched the rest of it um, however, I did notice that there are some slight tears on the inside cover of my cover. So, <laughs> today we're not going to work on any of the pages. Today, I'm going to work on the inside cover to strengthen it and get rid of that little hole so it doesn't get any worse. I love, I do love the, the it just feels so tactile to me, I love it, but I do need to strengthen this a little bit and yeah, repair the damage that's already been done. I think I'm only going to do this side today, I think, or I should, not today, I should say in this session, in this video. Um, because this might take me longer than a day. I have just got home from work, so pretty tired. <laughs> if this, if this, excuse me. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna squirt this with just a tiny bit of water and grab some gesso. I should wet my brush as well, but I haven't got a pot of water for hand. And I'm going to add a wash of gesso to dull down the pattern a little bit. Push that into the background. I do, I don't know what it is about this paper, but I find it very beautiful. I wouldn't normally go for yellow. So, I really like it. <laughs> As soon as I arrived in my mail, I knew I had to use it. Um, there is actually a video somewhere. I'll try and link it below of me opening that happy mail so you can see the, the size of the envelope. It was a while ago I received it. I've been waiting for a special project, and here it is. Uh, right.
Now let's get that dry. I'm going to leave some of the little bits of threads. I just think that adds a little bit of interest and charm. So that's that and my sewing is definitely not straight so any of the wonky lines you you see that's probably my sewing not the lady who sent it to me uh yeah so i'm going to dry this off and then we'll be back with the next bit right hokey pokey i'm going to add a little bit of this music paper that's been coloured and um, what's this one been coloured with I think it's intent pencils. This is a little bit dark, so I may gesso over it also. Get that over that little tear there, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. I've got my matte medium. Now, oh, gesso is probably still a little bit wet, so we might get some bleed, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. As I say, we may gesso over this anyway. Hoping these collage elements will strengthen the cover a little bit, make it slightly more rigid. I did think about putting something inside the envelope, but I didn't want it to be too too stiff. Or rigid. I liked the the soft cover, if you will. I don't really have a plan for this. I know I want to use this and I want to use some washi tape and I want to use some um, wax paper that I have already painted. And that's about as far as I've got. I also want to add some journaling onto this as a sort of introduction to the journal. But I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm just going to grab my washi tape, find the one that I want, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this isn't washi tape, it's uh, like a plasticky tape, decorative tape. But I'm just going to add a little bit randomly, I think. This is just another layer. I have chosen a roll of washi tape that I may want to use later and I think I have some more over that way that I want to use that will probably fit with the background paper. So that should bring that back into the fore, hopefully. looking forward to working in this journal it's going to be something really different I'm kind of a little bit afraid to do it because I don't want to ruin it I love it it's one of those things you ever think oh it's so beautiful I don't want to ruin it <laughs> and then you think what are you talking about it's a journal you've got to work in it <laughs> anyway anywho as Mickey would say, pass the cats. Right. So I have this 
paper that I have stenciled on and stamped with paint and stuff. So I'm going to tear the edges a little bit so it's not not so neat. Definitely straight edges. this little bit Yeah. Yeah.
So I have this. This is by proudly designed by the Creative Geeks at Shelf. I got it from the works a long time ago though. So it's a bit Cover up some of the darker areas of the music paper. Go over it with the matte medium as well. Make sure it sticks nicely. There we go. Now I'm going to let that dry and decide if I want to do anything else to it. Um, Maybe just a few. Small pieces of that. journaling. Uh, I'm getting a bit more my inking into that bit there. Just make sure everything's stuck nice. There goes the ice cream van.
so let's dry, see how it looks when it's dry and I'll be back I think I will do too much more to this. Um, as I said, I do want to add a little bit of journaling, and I remember this cheap notebook that I had under my bed now. <laughs> it's so old. Look at that. 39p. You can get one for that now, can you? <laughs> so I'm going to just tear the bottom like so, and do I close that? Pin it, pin it. Okay. Just grab see if I can get into the drawer. That's in the wrong drawer. Afraid burlap, but that will do. It's supposed to be on tape and then in that drawer. Oh no, it's not. I'm not reading it properly. <laughs> This is going to move when I put the matte medium over the top, so I'm not really going for perfection here. I just want to get a bit of colour down, get some pigment on there. Going around the edges darker maybe. We could grab no, almost got there. Grab our stress ink again, the frayed burlap, and gently create a border. much. 
running out of space for that. A little bit of cohesion, I think. Okay. And now I'm really feeling the need for a stamped butterfly. So I'm just going to grab my stamps and I will be back. Okay. pages yet. Now this stamp no longer sticks to acrylic blocks. So I might be able to remount it and just an easy mount. I'm using the archival ink Hickory Smoke. Because I think it'd be a bit more subtle than black, but more permanent than the distress ink. There we go, like that. And I'm gonna have a smaller one. Just to finish it, let's grab, oops, here we go, uh, text down. Page a little bit there, but never mind. There we go. So It's a very beautiful page. And as I say, I'm going to journal on here just to sort of introduce the book, the idea behind it. And it has, isn't that a little bit? A little bit more rigidity, but it's not too much. 
I just got it. I may add something to the front eventually. It may just be a little title or something. As I say, I do love the cover. So, yeah. Once it's dry, I may add something to this side as well. Again, to strengthen it, cover up some imperfections. Well, yeah, very, very happy with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to share my adventures with you in this book. I can't wait. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.